Hey YouTube, this is Sam, and today I'm going to do a review on the Fitbit Charge, which is this little doohickey right here. You may have seen me wear it on my wrist on certain videos, and um, now I'm actually going to do a review of it. I bought it on Christmas Eve from Bed Bath & Beyond simply because... There, it was on the way of going somewhere else that I was, you know, um, so I just stopped along the way to buy it, but, um, as of n now that I'm aware of, they have it in two colors. I know there are more colors that are going to be released, but at the time of me buying it, there was slate in black. I bought the black because Bed Bath & Be- Bed Bath & Beyond did uh did not have the slate color that's the color i really wanted but they didn't have it. but anyway it, it looks like a watch basically um and it's you wear it you wear it as such and what this particular watch does is it tracks your steps calories you've burned um calories you've burned, steps, and it tracks your sleep, tracks your exercise. You can actually log food on with their um, app or on their website. And you can also um, do alarms. And it tracks your sleep. And I think overall this is a really awesome one. There's a They just came out with the Fitbit Charge HR, which also does heart rate as well, which I, at the time of me buying it, they had not yet came out with it. Um, it's, this was $130 in the, I uh, Fitbit Charge HR is $20 more, I believe. So if you want to have the added benefit of a heart rate, go ahead and buy it. Um, and then that again, kind of looks like a watch, more of on the back, because they had, you know how watches they have that little silver thing um so basically this is what it looks like and then you chart and then you just take it on like that and this actually clips off the little clip can you can actually do it and buy extras on their website uh we can go on amazon or whatnot and then uh you charge it like that on the back and it comes with a charger and it also it also comes with a dongle that you can sync it with and you can or you can also um sync it with your phone i have a samsung galaxy s4 active and i just turn it on and it will sync it like if i you know um so you push the button it tells you the time I don't know if you can really see that. It is one, 1.54, January 10th. I've taken 819 steps, and let's be real, it's Saturday. I'm pretty much going to be doing homework and laundry today. That's basically it. I just started back at school. And so, um, normally I can get anywhere from like seven to 10,000 steps in a day, depending on what I'm doing. Um... And then I walked 0.32 of a mile. I'm not sure how the calorie basis works, but it has some weird number. And then it tells you how many stairs you climbed. I've done four, because there are staircases in my house, and I walk up and down them, obviously. And it also tells me what time my alarm is set. So I have mine set Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., which I think I'm going to have to edit that because of the fact that I keep falling back asleep because I haven't yet gotten used to my new schedule, sleeping schedule. Because uh, I'm used to waking up at, you know, going to bed at like 2 in the morning and waking up at 11. And now I have to go to bed at like, 10 30 or 11 and waking up at 7. Uh, so my schedule has literally flipped. And um, so 
Um, you wear it on your wrist. You can actually change. You can wear it on either wrist, but you have to change your. Um, you can change it in here. Now, if you change, like, you go into the Google app, or I believe they also have an iPhone app, you can go in there and change. You know, I have it on my dominant wrist or my non-dominant wrist, and then you um, can tell it to do different things. But each time that you change one of these settings, you have to resync your um, it back to your Fitbit. Um... I also got the small version because I have very small wrist. Um, they also come, I think, at large, and some places even have like an extra large. Um, so basically, how you charge this is you take your charger. You can either plug it into a wall charger, or you can plug it back into the computer, like so. You plug it in the back into your computer. Um, and how you sync it is you either, um, either have this dongle and it will connect it to the computer, or you can hook it up to your, download the app off of Google Play or the iTunes store and sync it to your phone via Bluetooth. Now, if you have it in Bluetooth or you, you, or, um, on the dongle, it will, I think it will resync itself. Assuming you have Bluetooth in, or assuming you have this in, it will resync itself every 10 minutes. And then the alarm feature, you can set it, uh, like, I don't know, every Monday, or every Monday through Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, you know? And then it will vibrate at your wrist. Um, my daily steps right now at the moment is 10,000 steps a day. Uh, and it will vibrate. When I've hit that, I go, ding, 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 congratulations, 10,000 steps. And I absolutely love it every time it tells me that, because, you know, it's nice. It means I'm actually walking. I, uh, most, most days, I get very close to that. Like, I will get within, like, a 1,000 steps of that, or at a 1,000 steps. Or, you know, I think one day I hit, like, 15,000 steps because I had done a lot of walking that day. And um, I've also done it, started doing a kickboxing class to help uh, do my do two things and it tells you also that um like they want you to get 30 minutes of active walking or some kind of exercising every day 30 minutes and you know and then it tells you and it wants you to have and i believe you can change all these somewhere and i think it wants you to do 10 steps every day and not 10 steps 10 flight of steps every day and then um and so on and so forth. If you'd like to count your calories like I'm doing, you you can link it to my fit uh yeah, my fitness pal, so I have it linked to, and they communicate. So you what you do is you do all your activities and steps on here, and then on my fitness pal, you log your food, and then the two just, you know, they just intertwine. Um And so, I really, really absolutely love it. And this is the box that it came in. And... I kind of had to rip it open to get it, to get it in. It probably was an easier way of getting it open. But, um... There are other products. There's a scale. Um, I really like using this because then it's easier for me to plan everything. Um... With my fitness pal previous, like last year, I had lost 30 pounds on, uh, doing it. And I had dropped from one weight to another, I'm not going to actually say. But, and I, I've gained a couple of those pounds back. And then I kind of lost it. And then I keep gaining, you know, it's a back and forth thing. So I'm thinking this will help to actually help remind me, oh, guess what, you know, um... I've actually will not eat all the calories back that I burned off of this. It will say, oh, you, you know, we're walking for an hour. You've gained, you know, 200 calories back. I'm not going to usually eat those all back. Um, but, you know, I, I really like it. So, um, 
if you are interested in, in learning more or you have your own thoughts or ideas, go ahead and comment below. And if you like these videos and you would like to suggest other things, go ahead and subscribe and comment below or email me. Either one is fine. But um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!